Simon here from Gold Coast Solar Power Solutions and uh, here we have a GrowWatt uh, Sun Gold Inverter and if you have a look on this one it's got the red fault light on and we tap near the screen it actually says error 102. Now error 102 uh, means that the inverter has a consistent fault so it's an internal fault which uh, is consistent. Now, with any problem with a solar inverter, I always recommend trying to reboot the system. It can be like a computer, it can get a glitch, and if you reboot it, it might start up again. I'm not all that hopeful here, but uh, we'll give it a go, okay? So, um, with a solar power system, if you, it's always important if you're turning it off that you follow the shutdown procedure. And it should be a sticker like this on the, uh, near your inverter. And you follow the shutdown procedure here. So, turn off the solar supply main switch, that'll be located in your switchboard or inverter AC isolator if you're present, which we've got one here, inverter AC isolator. And then we turn off the PV array DC isolator located at the inverter. We've got that over this side here. So we just throw that off and we'll wait for the uh, inverter to go completely uh, blank and dead. Now, if your inverter, if you do have an error 102 like this and it's coming up consistently, you will, you, you, it should be covered under warranty if it was installed within the last five years. A Grover Inverter has a five year warranty, so you might be able to claim it under that. Uh, we're just going to try and reboot the system now that it's all gone blank. So we just turn on the AC and the DC. It doesn't matter what order turning back on, it's just important when turning it off that it's in the correct order. And that will go through a startup procedure. So, like I was saying, if it was installed within the last five years and you are getting this consistent fault. Uh, error 102 and look at that it's gone straight back to it error 102 so consistent fault so this one's definitely uh, got an issue uh, which wasn't fixed by trying to reboot the system so we are going to have to take further action here so yeah if, if it was installed within the last five years you sh should be able to make a warranty claim to grow what um, some things that they will need they'll need to know the date of installation and they'll need proof of purchase as well and they also need the serial number of the inverter and model number, which you can always find on the side of the inverter. So here we've got it's a grow watt inverter, some gold 1500 is a model, and then we should have the serial number somewhere here. No, we don't. Okay, let's just have a look. Okay, we don't have one on this inverter actually. Um, usually it'd be a uh, a barcode with a with numbers underneath it here. We might be actually able to see it on the screen of the inverter. Yes, there it is actually there. So if you tap through the screen, you'll actually see the serial number there, so you can get the number off there. So uh, look, if, if your inverter was installed uh, more than five years ago, then it will not be under warranty. You could try and get an error like this repaired, but in my opinion, there's no real point in doing that because you'll you be spending good money to do that. You may as well spend a little bit more money, get a brand new inverter with a whole new warranty. You could spend $500 on, re on repairing this and you've still got no warranty. It could fail with another issue uh, the next day. And, and so why keep throwing good money after bad? Might as well replace it with a good quality replacement inverter with a full warranty. Thanks for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful.